Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna to be making arroz con dulce and these are the ingredients that I will be using. So here I have some condensed milk, evaporated milk, cream of coconut milk, regular coconut milk, I have some cinnamon sticks, some whole cloves, raisins, I have a piece of ginger, some vanilla extract, some star anise, I have cinnamon, brown sugar, butter and I have my rice and water. My rice has been sitting in water for 24 hours. So let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing that we're gonna come and do is make our tea for our arroz con dulce. So what I'm gonna come and do is add two and a half cups of water. I'm gonna turn on my flames to medium low. I'm gonna come and add five cinnamon sticks. Just throw it in there. I took my ginger and I cut up four four pieces like this. I'm gonna add it as well. I have six of the anise stars. See, that's the way that looks. And then these are called clavos in Spanish. They they look like nails. So I have 16 of these. So we're gonna add that and we're gonna let that come to a boil. Okay, so this is the way it starts looking once it starts boiling. What we're gonna do is leave this boiling for at least 10 to 15 minutes until you see a nice brownish color to it, okay? Okay guys, so this is the way it looks. It's been 10 minutes. Now I'm going to turn off my flame. I'm going to show you the color it's looking. You see how it looks like a brownish? That's what you want. So now what I'm going to do is just put this to the side and we're going to jump to the next step. Okay guys, so now you're going to take your pot and you're going to add a can of evaporated milk. With the same can of the evaporated milk, you're going to fill it up with water and add that as well and we are going to add our coconut milk not the cream of coconut but the coconut milk and now I'm going to come and add a teaspoon of vanilla extract just like this just like that and I'm gonna turn on the flames to a medium low I'm also gonna add a teaspoon of butter okay so now that we have these ingredients in here what we're gonna do is just mix it and we're gonna let this come to a boil okay Okay guys, you see how this is starting to boil? So now what I'm gonna come and do is I'm gonna take the tea that I prepared, you see, and I'm gonna come with a little strainer and I'm gonna pour this in, making sure nothing falls except the water. Just like that, okay? What I'm also going to come and do is I'm going to remove the cinnamon sticks from in here and I'm going to place them inside. And all the ingredients and the amount that I use will be in the description below. Okay, so now we're just going to mix this a little bit. And now it's time to add our rice. Okay guys, so we're just going to wait for this to reboil again. I just want to let you know this is my rice. I let um, my rice sit in water for 24 hours. This helps it get more tender and quicker for you so the rice won't be so hard. So now once it starts boiling, I'm just going to pour it in, okay? Make sure you drain out the water really good. Okay, now that it's starting to boil again, I'm just going to stir. Okay. 
and we are gonna add our rice. So this is a little process you have to keep mixing because if not, it will get stuck to the bottom of the pot and it will burn, you don't want that. So, and trust me, it is worth it. Okay. So we're gonna mix this for around 15 minutes. Okay guys, so this has been cooking for five minutes already. The reason you wanna keep this cooking for 15 minutes is so it can start evaporating the liquids and the rice can cook. So after the 15 minutes, then we're gonna come and we're gonna add the sweetness to it, which is the cream of coconut, the sugar, and the condensed milk. So I just wanna show y'all, it's been 10 minutes. We're gonna leave it for five more minutes. You see how we're starting to dry up a little bit? It's not gonna get dry, but it's gonna be like heavy you know and if you guys want to do more than what we're making today just double the ingredients okay okay guys so it's been 15 minutes you see how it looks now we're gonna come and we're gonna add the sweetness to it the reason I wait to the end it's because you the sweetness won't let it cook properly so now I'm gonna come And we're gonna add our condensed milk, but we're gonna mix this first real quick. Okay, you see how beautiful that looks? All right, so now I'm gonna come and add my condensed milk. And you can load down the flames a little more while you adding everything, okay? I'm gonna come with my brown sugar and we're just gonna mix this. The brown sugar is what gives it the color, beautiful brown color. Okay. Now I'm gonna come and also add my coconut my cream of coconut. Okay. And we're also gonna add our raisins. A lot of people do add um, brandy to their raisins, but I'm not gonna do that. I don't like it. So we're just gonna add it and we're gonna mix everything. So we're gonna cook this on a medium low again, okay? Make sure you mixing constantly. Okay guys, so it's been five minutes and the dough is looking. You just wanna continue stirring until you get the thickness that it's supposed to be so we can come and add it into our plates and then we can put it in the fridge, let it cool down and enjoy. Okay guys, so it's been seven minutes and now I'm gonna come with my cinnamon. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of the powder cinnamon. Okay. And we're gonna mix. Okay, and we're gonna let that cook. Remember, continue mixing because you don't want it to get hard in the bottom. Okay guys, so it's been 10 minutes. I just wanna show you. Look at that. Look at that. See that? We just wanted to get a little thicker. And this will be done. Remember constantly 
I can't stress this enough. Constantly mix because you do not want the rice to get stuck in the bottom. Okay. Okay, guys. So now what I'm going to do is turn off my flames. This is done. Look at that. So you don't want it to get too stiff because remember this goes in the fridge and it gets cold. So you don't want it to be that you can stick fork in it or a spoon and then you can pick it up. You don't want it like that. You want it to be nice and soft. Okay. So I'm just going to let this sit for like two minutes and then we're going to serve it into our trays. Okay guys. So my arroz con dulce has been sitting for two minutes. This is the way it looks. See that? So I'm going to show you. You want the consistency to be that when you wipe, you see, it looks like that. You see? That's the consistency you want this arroz con dulce to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in trays like this. Because I'm going to give some to my mother-in-law. And you know. So what I'm going to do. See these um, cinnamon sticks? Be careful, you don't want to add too much into one place. So we're going to just put them to the side and we're going to add them on top. Okay, so look at that. So a cinnamon stick got in there, but it's okay. Be careful when serving this because it's really hot. So what I'm going to do is just grab a rag and put it in the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to pick up the cinnamon stick so it can be on the top. Just like that. And that's all set. What we're going to do is let this sit for uh, 20 minutes so it can cool down. And then we're going to cover it and put it in the fridge. Okay, guys. So I got a little bit of a bigger plate. Aluminum. I'm going to pour the rest in here. But look at the bottom. See how nothing got stuck to it? That's what you want. Okay. I'm just going to finish pouring this in. And I'm going to show you. Okay, guys. So, this is the way it looks. You see? This is the biggest one. Then I have four medium ones. And I made this one for me. So, I can show you. Yeah, it'll get colder quicker. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to let this cool down 20 to 30 minutes. And then, um, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so this has been sitting here for 20 minutes. What I'm going to come and do is I'm just going to cover them and put them in the fridge for at least four to six hours. Or even better, we can leave it overnight. Okay, so I'm going to close them and we're just going to place this in the fridge. Okay, guys, so... I have made me a little one for me. This has been in the fridge for two hours. It's the way it looks. And I just want to show you. Look at that. Oh my goodness. See that? Look at that. See that? Yummy. So, once it's cold, you can add extra cinnamon if you like. It already has cinnamon, so I'm not going to add it. Um, but yeah, that's how you make arroz con dulce. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Any suggestions that you would like to see next, let me know. And like always, thank you for watching and have a wonderful, blessed day.